repair of a Lortone, old school Lortone, six disc or six wheeled lapidary machine. So this piece I picked up, I bought used for about $400. God, I don't know how long ago, um, five, six years ago. I got really tired of using a flat lap and having to change a disc consistently. So this saved my butt. I absolutely love this machine. The only problem is though, it's super loud. And I always thought that was the motor, that the bearings in the motor were gone, blah, 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 blah. Well, no. So I took the motor off and just laid it in the, the gravel in the driveway and turned it on. And before that, I, you know, went ahead and threw some uh, dry, dry lube in there um, to lube up the bearings a little bit. And there was not a peep out of this motor. So the problem was the bearings. So these are new bearings. As you can see, the old bearings are these old aluminum covered, big rubber bearings. And they're decent, but what had happened was that the ball, they're, they're a ball bearing, the ball had actually worn a uneven groove in the shaft collar um, inside the bearing itself. So what I had to do in order to get these bearings out, the old bearings out, was I had to cut the aluminum shaft collar or the bearing collar. I had to cut the rubber collar and then I had to cut through the bearings and then through the shaft itself or through the um, shaft collar itself. So you have to be really careful when you do that, that you're not cutting your shaft, but you know, a couple little nicks on your shaft's not going to kill it. Um, these are the new replacement bearings. And so this white stuff, what this is, is like a sound deadening that I put in here. So even with new bearings, I notice that there's still quite the hum in this box. And I think that's because of the close proximity and just basically the ambient noise ability of this box. So this box can definitely create a lot of echoing. And so what I did was I put a, a sound deadening material. All this is actually is a rubber, um, solid hard, it's not a hard rubber, it's like putty. This is the stuff that you put in RV windows to seal them up and to create kind of a sound barrier and noise and wind barrier from the road. And so this stuff works great. I left the, the, the tacky, this is how it comes. Some of you will recognize this. Tacky on the side, like super tacky. And if you peel this off, it's really tacky on the other side too. Well, in order to keep tackiness from, you know, being an issue and a bunch of dirt and gunk and stuff, I just left the, the covering on. And then up here, I went ahead and took that covering off um, because this is going to be the most exposed area for, you know, when I open this to service it. So I put a clear flex tape, you can see on the inside flex tape, over the top of this. It's rubberized too, so it might help create a little bit of a sound barrier. So that is how I serve this, serviced this old Lortone machine. Um, I put new collars on, put one new collar on, and then kept one of the old collars because it, it still was in okay shape, good shape actually. And so that is the servicing of a Lortone bearings. This bearing number is F204. So I don't know if we can see any numbers, but F204 actually mates with the current mounting holes in the Lortone so that you can use a new bearing. F204. And the Lortone for my machine, this is a three quarter inch shaft. So yeah, just make sure you have your shaft dimensions correct and you can fix the whining of your bearings in your Lortone.